Hi, I'm Penny Voss and I have a long history with the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. I have participated in the past 19 marathons and plan to run the marathon virtually in October. And I'm here today to spend a couple of minutes with you to show off the tremendous swag that uh, the marathon is offering this year. And I'm here today at the Memorial Museum and I just wanted to remind you that the Memorial Museum and Marathon they're, it's a private nonprofit. They do not receive any federal or state funding for uh, their operations. And so participating in these events along with supporting the museum um, goes a long way and through your private dollars uh, to help them maintain uh, the museum and educate students and continue that history to honor the victims and their families. So we will start today with the In Honor of Bib. And this is what makes this marathon so special. And we were hoping that you, uh, when you receive this in your uh, swag bag, that you will run in memory of one of the 168 victims who lost their lives during the bombing to honor their memory along with their families. Uh, it's also an added incentive as you're participating in the marathon, especially when you're out there putting in those long miles and you wanna be reminded of why you're doing the marathon. So we hope that uh, we can encourage you to think of a victim um, that you would want to run in honor of and be sure and pin that to the back of your shirt. And then next we have the changing of the course coin. And for those of you that don't know, this was a special offer this year, and it's for those runners who participated in the marathons in 2019 and plan to run the virtual marathons in 2020. And for those of you who participate uh, again this year, you will receive this special uh, commemorative medal for changing the course. And as you know, this year, we won't be able to celebrate at the new finish line uh, which is Scissor Tail Park, but we do look forward to next year when we can join in at the new changing of the course, the new finish line, and all the festivities that uh, will be a part of that big celebration. And then moving on, we have this beautiful blue runner shirt. This is one of my favorite colors. It is a high tech shirt for those of you who are wondering. And the nice thing about this is after you uh, finish your virtual run. You can put it on afterwards. You can actually wear it while you're running, uh, but you can also use it in future months for training. Uh, and we also show all of the, list the major sponsors on the back. And uh, we are happy to report that all of these sponsors are still very much involved uh, and understand the importance of uh, supporting uh, the Memorial Museum and Marathon. So I can't wait to see everybody in their pretty blue shirts. Uh, once you've completed your race or even during. And then here's a nice um, surprise. This is the uh, finisher's blanket. These have never been offered before. Try to make sure I'm not upside down here. There we go. <laughs> um, so again, these will be uh, in your swag bag and they will have these for half marathoners and the full marathoners. And just think about this, it, it's 99 degrees right now, and this may not sound very comforting, but in the fall and winter months, when you finish your uh, virtual race in the fall, uh, or one of your training runs in the winter, think how fun it'll be to come home and, and snuggle up in your finisher's blanket during those months. So I thought this was pretty special uh, and something that uh, we're all very excited about. And then moving on, um, we also want to honor those of you who are participating in the 5K. And this is the really cool medal this year with the pretty blue Run to Remember 20 Years. And we certainly appreciate all of you who enter the 5K and participate and show your support. And then probably we say the best for last because this is what I'm most excited about and that's the finisher's medal. Look how beautiful that is and watch this how it just spins around, which is something that we've never had before. And we all are so proud to put these around our necks when we finish our awesome races. So we hope that you will do that this year. When you finish your race, take a selfie or a group picture and put that out on social media and share that with your family and friends. And it just shows the world that you've completed something awesome 
and it also shows the world that you support uh, the 168 vic victims who lost their lives uh, in 1995 and the Memorial Museum who continues to honor those victims and, and our great city. So we uh, hope to see you out there. Remember, you can participate uh, between the uh, October 4th and the 18th. You can run your races any day uh, during that two week period. Um, and so we just look forward to hearing from you and seeing your photos and uh, good luck and congrats. Thank you.